take the time to build quality relationships and connect with existing relationships write it down take the time this period build quality relationships and connect with existing relationships there are some of you you have not seen certain people for a long time some of you have not seen your parents for five years as soon as we share the grace tonight go home <laughs> laugh but go home i will tell you why listen every time i talk like this you should know that i'm not speaking nonsense do you know that God forbid not to be a prophet of doom if your parents have five more years to live and you see them only once in two years you are going to see them two more times before they leave are we together now yeah build quality relationships use this brick to edit your relationships who destroyed my life this year father I receive grace you strike them out of their life who misled me listen 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 who stopped me from coming to church that i insisted and i came and i was blessed you mark them not to condemn them but you are improving your life listen if you want to grow put aside sentiments love your destiny enough to go through a serious system of editing and that also means editing good people People do not have to be bad to destroy you. Hmm. Prophetic instruction. It's not an advice. It's an instruction. Go back and sit down. Who helped me to know God more today? Now. Who encouraged me when I was weak? I lost my job in March. But there was a sister who was always calling me in the night. Insisting that we pray. I told her about my rent and she divided her salary into half to give me. How do you leave such a person? No, learn what works and stay there. Many of us do not know the difference between good and evil. Something is wrong because strong meat helps you to discern. All people cannot occupy the same position in your heart. There are people who help you know God. Every time you come around them, you are discussing pro-destiny discussions. And that even includes elderly people. There are elderly people when you come around, when you see them, they will motivate your mother, your father, help. At the end of that discussion, your faith is stirred up. But there are people, as soon as you get there, when you leave, you deflate all. It's like everything you have been building just goes down. Love is a command. Relating with everybody is not a command. You are given the liberty to love all men. But select with the wisdom of a coach the team that you need to build to your life that takes you forward. Is someone listening now? Yes. That also includes as much as if your children have not gotten to the age of discretion, please parents take responsibility and help choose the kind of friends they have. There are bad people today who are agents of darkness who come to destroy little children. A small child who you call a small child will ask you a question as a parent that you cannot sleep. Where did you learn that from? And they call the name of somebody. Everything under your house, your roof should serve your God. And anybody who comes with any strange God, love them but tell them, listen, if I brought you from the village and I'm changing you here and you are practicing idolatry, you are going back to the village. Let them say, I, I treated you bad. No problem. You don't like what I'm saying, ba? Invest in. Listen, get to a point in your life where you start investing in quality people. There is a difference between a Christian and a non-Christian. There is a difference between a visionary person and a non-visionary person. There is a difference between a kind person and a wicked person. Know the difference and begin to prayerfully piece together good people in your life. Hallelujah. Yes. Do that as a man of God. Ministers of the gospel have quality ministerial relationships. People who love you. You stand and they hold your hands to stand in integrity together. Not a friend that begins to teach you crooked ways of doing ministry. And you start well, as soon as you get into certain associations, you start practicing devilish things that are antichrist. There is a way we do this thing. Oh, 
there is something they can take you somewhere there's a way we can wash your eyes to see there is a way we do some things no no please you are hearing me you belong to any association that is not of god obtain grace don't fight anybody but live in peace as a sign of your respecting your tomorrow are we together and when you leave this place for those of you who are traveling beware of those who were in your yesterday because your yesterday is very different from your today they will look at you with the lens of yesterday bros you are back we go to that our place and you say no i'm a child of god then they laugh hysterically and say are you the first don't condemn them but let that be your last time in that environment you will not die if you don't see them you can send them a text i'm in town may god bless you that's it no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you will kick down lie you will tear down coming after me no shadow you will light up no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you will kick down lie you will tear down Separate your relationships into outer court. Hello? Inner court. Holy of holies. There are people who you should love generally, but they should never cross the outer court. There's nothing you can do about them, but keep them at the outer court of your destiny. There are people because of their love for God, their value and contribution to your life, they have access to the inner court. And I hope in your most holy place there is only one person there. Because if there is more than one person there, you are practicing idolatry. That most holy place is a position that only God, it is only the size of God that can fill that place. If money is there with God, remove money out this night. If titles are there, remove it this night. The most holy place was designed to be the habitation of the jealous God. The only one whose size fills that place. So every other thing that has transited itself from your outer court, your inner court, your most holy place, and God is somewhere trying to squeeze space with money, titles, a name, fame, remove all of them out this night and rearrange your relational life. Know who matters to you most. Love everybody, but not everybody is worth dying for. No. No. Are we together? Yes. This is very important. Invest in your relationships. Connect with existing relationships that have produced profit to your life. Let me tell you this. I have taught you and I will keep teaching you. We maintain relationships by fueling it consistently with gratitude. If you cannot contribute value, contribute gratitude. If you cannot contribute value, contribute gratitude. Somebody is always paying your school fees. You don't have any money to give the person back, but always say thank you. Remember? Gratitude. Gratitude. Honor. Now is the time when you show people gratitude. Gratitude. Talking about relationships, use this opportunity to tell people thank you. Let me advise you, ladies and gentlemen, do not be under pressure to stretch your finances beyond necessary as a way of trying to say I must buy hamper for everybody. There are too many good people in your life and you are growing financially. I'm not teaching you greedy people who agree with me quickly now because they don't want to give. I'm not teaching you to be greedy. Are we together? But I am saying there is a narrative in church that we must correct. You must not give me hamper to show you love me. If you are not yet there, pray for me. It is a greater gift than a hamper. So don't be under pressure, but tell someone thank you. You cannot buy a hamper of hundreds of thousands, but you can load your phone with 2,000 naira and send thank you to everybody. Thank you for what you have done. 
I want to appreciate you for making me love God. Know God more. Send. That is your Christmas gift. And God will honor your heart of sincerity and gratitude. Don't wait and be angry and say, can you imagine it's Christmas? Nobody is even thinking about me. That is a message from your tomorrow. That you are going to tomorrow alone. Because you are not investing in anybody's life. Are we together? Yes. Somebody should matter enough in your life to be able to tell them thank you. Send something home to your loved ones. Send something to your children, parents. Spouses, send something to one another. Children, send something to your parents. Preachers, even. You know, we men of God, sometimes we are always receiving. Pastors, do something to your people too. No matter how small. And then members too, do something to your leader. Don't just say, Amen. Thank God, we are finished now. Go, let God who called you help you. It's, I'm not saying you should do anything for me. No. But I'm teaching you is a very good, never watch a man bless you from January till December and wrap up that year without blessing the person. It's a good culture. I'm not teaching you to give me anything. Believe me. God has been faithful to me. But it's a culture you must learn. That includes your boss in office. Some of you are soon going on break. Go and get a hamper. I don't like the director, but you like your tomorrow. And you bring the hamper and drop it and the man is surprised. Why did you do this? He first suspects you because he's not used to people being kind for no reason. And then after one week he calls you. Then he starts telling you the story of his life. Because you have earned a right to move deeper in relationship with him. By January you receive an email that you have become a director. And people will say no, this lady must have done something. They are right. You walked your way by intelligence. To rise and scale to the position of a director. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do not allow anybody who has played a significant role in your life without maintaining the relationship. And some of you have money. You are rich. Use your money to build relationships. Relational investment is greater than any other investment. It is because of relationships people go to heaven. It's because of relationships people go to hell. Don't ignore relationships. Are we learning? Connect with good relationships. Quality relationships. Apostle, I'm not that kind. I don't visit people. Choose people to visit. Now there's no excuse. Visit someone. Surprise them. Go to their home. Just go and sit down. I just came to say hello. Wow. What do we do? No, 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 no. Don't bother yourself trying to do anything. Joke with them, play with them. How are you doing? Pray with them, carry a gift and drop and tell them you leave and you watch that widow crying. And you watch that person crying and say, no one has ever done this in my life. And God said, you did that for that woman? Get ready for the next level. These are the things we do in the spirit to rise. Is God helping someone? The days of eating alone that's what destroys people. There is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to penury. Let me challenge you. Let your one naira, your one pound, your one dollar add a smile to someone's face. Invest in relationships. Number four. This is the most important discussion about the most important discussion. 